I'm Delphine, a Catholic revert, 30-something, trying to live life through the lens of our Lord. And today I'm going to be talking about why I personally don't identify as a modern-day feminist. Controversial, I know, but stick with me here. Okay, so if you're still listening after that title, I do want to start by saying that I believe that men and women are 100% equal in value. 100% and so does God, right? There's so many things that say that in the Bible and also I'm going to read a few quotes from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. So it says, Created in the image of the one God and equally endowed with rational souls, all men have the same nature and the same origin. Redeemed by the sacrifice of Christ, all are called to participate in the same divine beatitude. All therefore enjoy an equal dignity. So yes, while I think that we are completely equal in value, I do not believe that we are equal in our physical strengths, our emotional intelligence, and also our God-designed roles in society and in the family. What do I mean by this? I mean that when feminism was distorted to make women believe that the only way they could have power was if they acted like men, I think that's been really detrimental. I want to say when it comes to feminism, I have been there, done that, and bought the t-shirt. Literally, I used to have a t-shirt that read feminism across the chest, but I found it started to become very intersectional for me and very divisive. British author and theologian G.K. Chesterton said, Feminism is a muddled idea that women are free when they serve their employers, but slaves when they help their husbands. Again, this was something that for me, it really distorted my view of what I wanted from marriage and a family. Um, what I wanted from my career and it really just made me place myself, my career, my kind of earnings above anything. It was negative during my 20s and that kind of dating life but it made me just feel so different and so angry and like I constantly had to fight for everything. And I'm not saying that it is not a struggle to be a woman because there are many things and many reasons that it is hard especially in the wake of um you know attacks on women and obviously the hypersexualization and objectification of women which i think is horrific and i also want to take a minute to just um help ease any naysayers um worries about the bible not being um pro-women for example eve is referenced adam's helpmate or helper which i know a lot of people may think sounds derogatory but let's take this back to the Hebrew language. In the Hebrew language, helper is Ezer, which means help in Hebrew. And that's how Eve is uh, described as a helper to Adam. However, God himself is referred to this, this same word in Hebrew, 21 times in the Old Testament. So to me, that doesn't say that he thinks women are any less. There are a few quotes in the Bible that make people a bit uncomfortable. Um, there is Ephesians 5.21. Um, which says to be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ and the line wives be subject to your husbands as you are to the Lord um, I know that can rub people up the wrong way but I think it's because it's a lack of understanding of the quote and also the context um, because it then goes on to say for the husband is the head of the wife just as Christ is the head of the church the body of which he is the saviour just as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives ought to be in everything to their husbands. Ouch, I know that sounds like, oh, what does that mean? Does that mean we're like servants or slaves? No, to me it just means it's like having a commander and a second in command. But wait until you hear this line. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. So I'm like, do you know what? I kind of feel like the women get, <laughs> they get off easy there. I mean, he's literally saying that husbands, you need to love your wives the way Jesus loved the church. And Jesus was crucified for the church. Jesus suffered and died for the church. Having familial roles, which, you know, the Bible make really clear, I think just helps us to understand who we are. And it makes us feel safe and it makes us understand how we navigate this world. I feel like now I would like to see that if, you know, there was a little girl who said, my dream is to be a wife and mother, that that also be celebrated as much as the girl who says, you know, my dream is to be an architect. I think um, for me, feminism really means equality. And I love it when it does that. And I love the ways that do that, but I don't, I can't subscribe when it's as if women are only valuable when they are working or when they are giving something back to society. I think the problem with 
modern day feminism is it makes us feel like we're failing if we're not being you know an amazing wife an amazing mother an amazing worker um if we don't have all these like ticks these milestones that we're hitting in our career it just it's too much and it makes us feel like we're on this hamster wheel and i kind of think it's because it goes a little bit against god's design the church teaches that we all have dignity because we are all made by god in fact this is reaffirmed throughout the bible in genesis it says that god created both male and female in his image in galatians 3 28 it says there is neither jew nor greek slave nor free male nor female for you are all one in christ jesus i also want to bring up the point about the fact that i want there to be a world where feminism can mean equality and you know real reverence for women but also encourage men to be chivalrous because i still think especially in dating life or if you're courting someone that if the man asks you out he should pay and he should organize it and he should open the car door for you open the door for you whatever it be i think these are really nice things i think they're respectful yes of course i can open the door myself i open the door all the time myself i live alone it just shows a reverence to women i don't think it um should feel like an old-fashioned or traditional thing that's my personal opinion i think let's just be so kind and loving to each other and opening a door makes me feel very loved thank you so that's my two cents about feminism and in conclusion i really don't want to downplay any of the suffering that women have gone through i don't want to downplay any of the work that women have done to um, increase our equality in society what i do want to do is just say that the wave of feminism that I'm seeing in some places, which is very much like, um, we can do anything a man can do but better, um, you know, highlights sexual liberation or um, actually belittles men or belittles women who are stay at home wives and mothers or who, you know, have more traditional um, female roles at home. Uh, that's when I think it's unhealthy. So I hope that has been somewhat interesting, maybe thought provoking for you. Don't forget to subscribe to Salt for more Christian lifestyle and dating content. And don't be shy about leaving me a comment or like or dislike if you didn't you know, agree with this, but I hope that you took the time to listen to my point of view and just know that I say all this stuff in love and that I think women are amazing.